between my scope and a PC, just plug in a regular Ethernet cable. So that's what I've got here. So I'm actually running the eScope and I'm going to show you how that goes. So once you've plugged in the Ethernet cable between the scope and the PC and you start the scope up after the Ethernet cable is plugged in, under the utility menu you go to I.O. and it comes up with LAN. So what you're looking for is it's going to assign an IP address for between the two, your scope and your PC. Uh, once you get an IP address here, you'll hit test connection. And when that says OK and is green, take this IP address and you punch it into a browser on the PC. And that gives you this screen. So if you don't get the OKs here, click land reset. And that'll go through and reset the two cards to talk to each other. Again, a regular cable between a PC and a scope will do this. Um, get you this connection. Then again, take that IP address, punch it in, and you get this talk listener. And from the talk listener, if you click on eScope, that's what this screen is. So I actually have control of the scope screen from that computer. So I can, you know, open up menus and do everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the time for you. So you can see that my clock is at 1:39 and 10 seconds. So inside this first sc screen that comes up when you punch in the address, there's this thing called Talk Listener. When you click on Talk Listener, it brings up this GUI. If you put this command right here, time, and then set a value, I'm going to set this back to 1, 30, and 10 seconds. So again, watch the scope screen over here on the right. As soon as I send that command to the scope, I get it to 1, 30, and 10 seconds. It's like, okay, I want to set this back to 140 because that's the time it will be by the time I get it sent back. So you can synchronize these things all the way down to the second if that's what you need to do. So take that and send it. And now the scope is at 140. So hopefully this helps with the time setting. Um, again, the you don't have to have IP and all that kind of stuff. You do have to have a computer. You can plug a network cable between the computer and the scope. And the scope will, again, in the I.O., they'll negotiate if you've got this network address set to auto. Tell it to reset the LAN. It'll go out and it'll reset. And you can see it's applying the changes. And depending on the, again, the network setup and the you know, the card between them, they figure out and negotiate an address and it comes OK and I click test. And again, I take this address 192.168.1.23. So if I was to open a new browser from scratch, just to show this to you, if I punch in 192.168.1.23 and hit enter, I get this screen. Again, that's the one where I clicked on talk listener. And then you take and put that time command in and send and being your set. And if you want to see the scope, what's going on with it, you can remotely connect it. And this is all built into the four, fives, and sixes. Hopefully this helps.